we will open all plan now. And the first example will consist of doing the stair reinforcement. Just a quick reminder, we modeled the stairs using uh, Python parts and we created a um, Python part for stair, which also included some uh, foundation, some landing. Let's open the project. Okay, this is where we were last time. And I will focus on the stairs. So here on the workshop drawings, I will, instead of section five, I'll call it stair reinforcement. And I'll call this one detailing. And on the left side, I will activate the stairs. I will deactivate all unwanted drawings. So I have to make sure that the detailing is on red. I want to see the construction grid and the stairs, so they will be in edit mode or this yellow color. Now I've isolated this item so I can see it better. And we can uh, already start the reinforcement. I will double click on this Python part. And here, as you've seen last time, we can click create reinforcement, which will allow us a tab for reinforcement. So by doing this click, you see that we get actually two tabs. So it's a two step process. In the first step, I will choose whatever rebars I need. So let's have a look here, front view, plan view, and isometric. So I will choose the types of bars that I need to include in these stairs. And then I will specify diameters for the bars, steps, uh, distances, and so on. So I will start by positioning shape number one. Then I will continue with shape number two, shape number three, shape number four, shape number five. And you see, we already got the rhombic shape, which is uh, required so that concrete is not pulled out in the side of this uh, angle. So this is how we establish which type of rebars we require for this element. Then we go for stair reinforcement. And here we can select the steel quality. The vending pin usually it's four. And we also have the possibility of applying a mesh. So in some situations or in some countries, they also reinforce uh, staircases using meshes. So you also get this possibility of choosing a certain mesh. I will work with bars. I will say fee 10 for all of them. We can also provide some anchorages, but there's no point. It looks quite fine as it is. And I will just change the spacing here. So I want the spacing of 0.15 for each type of shape. So you see instantly how we do the longitudinal rebar. Also, we can apply some space bars. And uh, that's it for now. We see close and we've got the reinforcement for the slab. Let's check the colors for the marks. I want colors by marks. So automatically you can see which marks are different. And we can observe here the detailing. 